Hello and welcome to a brand new World of Warcraft Let's Play series. I'm going to be leveling this character, this priest, from level 1 to level 90. Now, not this exact character, I have to uh, customize him, of course, as you all, I'm sure, are aware. Uh, let's get him a good skin. I think uh, this one looks pretty good. I like the look of that one. Face. Let's choose a nice, vicious looking face for him. And of course we can go back and change this, but um, for now we're just going to keep it one static static thing. He is a priest, so uh, I don't know if we can play with that. The blue eyes kind of throw me off in that one. Uh, I don't want to be too generic. Let's stick with this one. Hairstyle, I kind of like the hair that he's going for here. Just uh, nice and easy, just a nice little spike mohawk. I like that. And uh, facial hair I like as well, so I already went in the character map, made myself a name, and we are going to be uh, starting this character on Stone Mall, so if you want to join me or uh, say hello during the course of this Let's Play, I'm on Stone Mall. You saw the name, you saw the weird eye italicized, whatever you want to call it, so uh, feel free to add me and, and play along. And, be sure to say hello on, on camera. I'm probably not going to blur out anything chat-wise, so feel free to, to join along. And I'm going to be kind of doing this... I'm not going to be necessarily reading the quest material. If you really want to read the quest description, you can pause the video and read it. It's good enough quality. I am, though, going to kind of explain each quest, what my task is and things of that nature. So right here I have to uh, retrieve a training mace and a book of prayers. Have to equip them right away. Now, this is going to be a, a Let's Play series. I also have to turn on auto loot. Kind of similar to what the group... Now I'm trying to think too much of at once here. Gotta figure out all my things that I have going. We'll start with that. We can always add more extra bars. Display. I needed controls, auto loot. Okay, so if anybody is familiar with the video series Project Lore, they made a lot of fun videos and and things of that nature. So that's kind of what I'm going to be basing this off of. It's going to be me kind of questing. It's not going to be. I mean, there's obviously room for future FaceTime and, and things of that nature. But for the first couple videos, we're just going to. Uh, grind through these here guys I believe it's the F key no V there you go we are going to grind through and, and kill these trading targets that's the first quest at hand there's going to be a lot of of editing here and I'm going to fast forward through some of it and make sure that everything's done in a nice manner without being too tasking on your on your patience and my patience if there's just a grinding quest where it's like kill eight wolves and I get a couple quests at a time I'm just gonna fast forward it put some music behind it and fast forward it so now I have to kill I shouldn't say kill because this is just kind of like a, a respectful duel in the pandaren world I'm going to duel six characters here six sparring trainees now I might butcher a lot of names I'm not the best at at the lore of this game but it is something that I'm getting into very quickly and I'm beginning to enjoy thoroughly so there will definitely be moments of me going through and, and explaining some lore and making sure that everybody is an understanding of of what exactly you're seeing and why you're seeing it I love the panda and vibe uh, that's part of the reason why I chose panda I am very into that oriental theme the music I feel is fantastic and I have a great time just plowing through these beginning quests I think it's it's quite fun and quite interesting um, let me see Oh, I still got one more defeat then we'll be good to move on to the next quest I do not have any heirlooms, all of my characters are on the Horde side, and I'm going to make this character an alliance, and hope that it can uh, help me in the long run. Alright, so what we have to do next is snatch, alright, now I got this wrong quite a few times, in order to snatch it, 
you have to... It's very, very finicky. There it is. You would think that it would be like right there, but it's not. It's You have to really be careful as to where you're, you're mousing over, if you will. So here's a quick, quick run upstairs. And we are now about to burn the the uh, scroll thing of temperance and the best part about this is that you can kind of just fall right down here it's not going to do you any harm pandas also take reduced falling damage due to their bouncy nature whether that was a pun of their size or not I am unaware but regardless so if you look at the spell book we get a good amount of spells just gonna go right to Jowman Row. So here we are at Jowman Row. A challenger approaches. We are going to smite him to death. I shouldn't say death because, again, this is just a respectful bout. But you can kind of do uh, the whole punchy thing there and interrupt some of his stuff. I find it quite useful. It's actually a pretty good challenge to be honest with you. But I have defeated him. And I will be moving on to the next combatant. I'm just going to eat and get that two intellect. I do believe that you get more as a panda. Four, so it doubles. Just two characters looking to do the same same to him here. I'm gonna grab these gloves. Grab the... Oh, let's do the patient. I like that. So now I have to speak to Merchant Lorvo by Foo's Pond. And I always like to stop and get a little bit of grinding in. I always like to be a little bit ahead of schedule, so I might just grind out a quick level here. reached level four so now I am going to go and talk to merchant Lorvo and the quest will most likely be killing the things that I have been killing over this fast forwarding period or getting some fox hides or something of that nature it's usually the starting zone uh, questing if you will gain a lot of good spells pretty soon some helpful spells that will help survivability as well as numerous other things. Quick 45 experience for him. Here's two quests right here. Rescue the cart driver. And items of the utmost importance. Recover six train supplies from the amber scraps. Might have said that wrong. Most likely did. So in other words, you have to kill these here, guys. And the best part about the uh, Shadow Word Pain is that it is enough to kill an enemy solely by itself. Just a Shadow Word Pain and nothing else is enough to kill any of these little, little low level 2 enemies. And as you'll see here, I will take on these three at a time. And that one. 
and I will just uh, kind of walk around. That was a crit, so that was nice. But to prove my point, here's exactly what I mean. Totally just killed it solely by itself. Did not have to do any extra collateral damage to get the job done, which is really cool, especially for this beginning game leveling because you can kind of kite and uh, have a real easy job. And also must note that my criticals have the ability to one-shot just about any low-level enemy. So that's always great. Any low-level enemy, similar to what I am here. So, uh, rescued him. Do I need to do anything? Master Shane has trained you well, friend. Thank you. I couldn't have fought them off alone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go find my cart. So he's off to go find his cart. He's uh, calling it as if it's a companion of some sort. Not too sure what that's all about. But more power to him, right everybody? That's all that I gotta say. Achievements must be... Yeah. Per character. Or per account now. A lot of new features I'm going to go through over the course of this leveling. A challenge in compassion and humility. By helping Merchant Lorvo, it would seem that you've passed Priest. Master Shane would be pleased. So I got the six supplies, and I also have the missing driver. I found him, and it gives me a nice satchel. I like that addition to the game. Protect Isa while she meditates. I would be happy to. I will meet you up in the cave. Although I cannot jump like you can. If you could teach me that after you are done meditating, I would greatly appreciate that. Because that would come in very handy right now instead of walking everywhere. Alright, so here's some troublemakers. I'm not liking that too much. There we go. Keep those creatures at bay. with that she is protected and so our path lays before us speak to master Shane Z he will tell you what comes next and with that my friends episode one will be coming to a close if you enjoyed this episode and enjoyed how I'm going about this series leave a like share it with your friends watch this while you're playing your own World of Warcraft watch this while you're bored and have some nothing to do and you just kind of want to see it an experience through another set of eyes. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.